Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at the server side, and I wanted to show you how to delete a single file from your git repo. Spoiler alert, the command is git rm double dash cached file name. However, it's not quite as easy as you think, so stay tuned for some of the details. So I've got a repository here locally that actually maps to a repository on the server. I'm going to open up the git bash shell and then do a git switch to the main branch, git pull to make sure that I've got all of the latest code. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the echo.html file. Now watch this, git rm is the right command to use. I'm going to go git rm echo.html, git commit dash m, echo removed, and then git push to origin. And I'll do a little refresh over in origin and echo is removed. Now the only thing is echo is also removed here. And that might not be what people want when they say they want to remove a file from the git repository. I mean, we removed it, but we also removed it from the file system as well. So if you just want to remove it from the repo, but keep it alive there, then you can do git rm double dash cached and then the name of the file. So I'll do that with Devo right now. Now notice that Devo is still floating around, but if I do a git commit, and a git pushed origin, do a little refresh over here, notice Devo is gone. And indeed that file has been removed. But in this case, it has been removed from the Git repository, but it's still there on my file system. Now, if I do another commit and I add devo.html to the index, do a commit and then push, well, devo will be back again. Um, but right now it's on my file system and it's not completely deleted. So that is interesting. Now, one other thing that I might mention to you is that you can always go into GitHub, click on a particular file here, and if you want to remove that file from your Git repository, you can do it right at GitHub. Just click on that trash can. You can do the same thing with GitLab as well. It's going to commit those changes. And now that file is deleted from your Git repository. You didn't even have to do it through one of your Git commands. But of course, let's see what happens if we do a Git pull. So let's do a, do, do a Git pull. We've now done a pull from the server, and you'll notice that while the server has Adam and Baker, over here we have Adam and Baker as well. Now we've also still got the Devo file, and the reason we've got the Devo file is because it was not checked in, and uh, it was not checked into the Git repository. So it's an untracked file, and uh, Git won't delete an untracked file when it does a, a commit or a pull or a fetch. Anyways, there you go. Those are the various ways that you can delete a single file from a Git repo. The key is the git rm double dash cached file name command, or optionally just do it from GitHub or GitLab. If you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, DevOps, tools, enterprise development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNC and subscribe on the YouTube.